Hello, my name is Valeriano Peñero Naval, and I am a research member of the unit called LabCon EFP Communication Philosophy and Humanities of the University of Bain Interior. I am here to introduce to you the article titled Local Development and Tourism, the Socioeconomic Impact of Digital Communication in Portugal, which appears in the Latina Journal of Social Communication in the number 72. This article has been uh, written by myself and other two members of the same research group, Professor Paulo Serra and Rafael Mangana. This article presents the results of a study that examines the tourism information offered by Portuguese municipal websites and correlates it with certain structural factors to measure the impact of the leisure industry on local development. Content analyze based on a code book composed of 36 variables, was performed with, with a predictive character. Over the 308 websites that make up the total population of Portuguese municipalities. At the general level, the results indicate that the tourist orientation of the Portuguese municipal websites is relatively clear and explicit. In this sense, and as one of the most remarkable findings of the study, consistent with the data obtained in Spain in previous studies, it's important to note that the two most successful manifestations of today's alternative tourism, the cultural and natural sectors, attract greater prominence in the Portuguese local network, followed behind by the traditional mass tourism mode. This finding supports from an empirical point of view, the trend recently experienced by the sector, the diversification of the offer to satisfy the growing and challenging demands of the new tourist who sex more enriching experiences at the vital level. From a comparative point of view, the study has shown that the metropolitan area of Lisbon is the region that puts greater emphasis on the dissemination of its tourists' information, while the coast of the continental Portugal predominates at this level with respect to the inland and island municipalities. Consequently, the municipalities located in these uh, geographical sectors must put all their efforts in promoting to the maximum degree possible their tourist potentialities to alleviate the differences that ex still exist across territories. On an ideological level, the results have confirmed that, regardless of the political party ruling the municipal council, the consideration given to the tourist information of the websites is the same. Therefore, the greater or lesser promotion of the recreational attractions of the municipalities does not depend much on the ideology of the ruling party, but rather on population and economic issues. In line with the pre-existing literature, it has been shown that these two structural factors are crucial for the development of web services and that they also have an impact on the tourism industry of the municipalities. The results have also demonstrated the predictive character of the purpose created touristic information indicator because its correlation with these variables was significant enough to confirm the link between demography, economy and tourism across the internet. The full article is available in the website of Latina Journal of Social Communication. You can also email us to addresses that appear on the cover of the article should you need any further information about our research work. Thank you very much.